Hi everybody, Scott Davenport here with a quick tip for you in Lightroom about straightening verticals and horizontals in architecture photos. So here I have a photo of a window, and this was on the second or third floor, and I'm at street level shooting upward at it, and there is a very uh, slight distortion in the verticals. So we can see from the base of the window, this is a little bit wider than the top of the window, and so these vertical lines at the shutter are kind of angling inward ever so slightly. And I want to correct that. Now, I don't always correct verticals and horizontals in my architecture photos. Uh, when I'm shooting a, you know, a, a building or a monument or a street and there's angles to it, I don't mind you know, the tilted buildings or curving arches. I think that adds an interesting amount of drama to the shot. But for something like this that is symmetrical, I do want to have my verticals and horizontals straightened up. So how to do that? In Lightroom, we go to the lens corrections. You can see in the basic panel, I have already turned on the basic corrections for my camera itself and my lens. So you can see this is before and that's after. And that's addressed a lot of the bowing that the lens was providing, but there's still this little bit of tilt with the vertical. Over in the manual portion of the tool, we have all sorts of controls, and I'm interested in vertical because that's the distortion I want to correct. So now when I hover over the slider, I get this very fine grid on the image, and I can use that to help align the uh, correction here. When I move away, it disappears, but I want you to pay attention to this bottom corner here and this top corner here as I manipulate the slider. That's where my eyes are, and that's where I'm looking, so now I've got my slider, and I am watching the main frame, and I'm slowly nudging, in this case, the vertical slider to the left to get the spacing I want. And right around negative eight, as it turns out to be, that looks pretty good. This is looking nice and straight, and when I hover again, I've got a pretty good alignment on the grid. I'm pretty happy with that. And um, even the other side looks good as well. So I'm going to stick with that. And we're done with the lens corrections. So you can see here's before the corrections, and here's after, including that manual vertical correction we just did. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope this helps you out the next time you're trying to line up angles to be as perpendicular as possible. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm putting up videos every week with lots of different post-processing tips and some behind-the-scenes footage from some of my photo shoots. Hope you'll check them out. Thanks a lot.